the time to the nearest five minutes. Today we will study how the hours and minutes work on the clock. This is an analog clock. It has two hands. We call the short hand the hour hand and the long hand is called the minutes hand. As you can see there are numbers from 1 to 12 on the clock face, they show the hours. The other set of numbers, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. These are for the minutes hand. On a normal clock, the numbers for the minutes hand are not shown. You have to remember them. They go from 0 all the way to 60. If you count by 5 then it is easy to remember them. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. For each number on the hour hand, we are going to count in 5 to find the minutes. Let's look at this example. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Now let's see how it works on a clock. Remember the numbers from 1 to 12 are for the hour hand. You have to remember the minutes by counting in 5 in your head. The clock now shows 2 o'clock. We read it as 2 hours and 0 minutes. Let's move the minutes hand. Now it shows 2 hours and 5 minutes. We can read it as 5 past 2 or 2.05. Let's try to read the time on this clock. We can read it as 10 past 2 or 2.10. Have you noticed the lines between the numbers? Each line represents a minute. Now it shows 6 minutes, 7 minutes, 8 minutes and so on. Now the minutes hand has moved to 15. We can read it as 15 past 2 or quarter past 2 or 2.15. Now the minutes hand has moved to 20. We can read it as 20 past 2 or 2.20. The minute's hand has to go all the way around the clock before it can change the hours. Can you tell what time it is? Good. Let's look at the hour hand. It's between 12 and 1. That means it is 12 hours and the minute's hand is pointing to 25. That means that the time is 12.25 or 25 minutes past 12. Can you tell what time it is? Excellent! The hour hand points to 10 and the minute's hand shows 15. So it is 10.15 or quarter past 10. Let's do one more. Can you tell what time it is? Good job! The hour hand is between 9 and 10 but it is not yet 10. So we say it's 9 hours. The minute's hand is pointing to 40 minutes. The time is 9.40. Remember to check the hour hand first. It's the shortest hand. Then check the minute's hand, it's the longest hand. When we check the minute's hand we have to count in 5. 